everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are making this lovely shawl here. It's a bit of a different shape than what we usually make, but I have really enjoyed making this shawl. It grew really quickly and it is such a soft, luxurious shawl and it is so warm. It's really lovely to wrap yourself into this shawl on a cooler summer evening or even on those autumnal walks. I'm looking forward to showing you how to make this shawl. Let's get started. So for this project I'm using an Aran yarn. This is Aztec by James C. Brett and it has alpaca in it. It is prescribed for a 5mm hook, but to achieve the loose and lacy effect that we want, I am going to be using a 7. So that means I'm going to be going up quite a few sizes. So maybe for yourself, yes, go up a few sizes, but do try it out. You might have to go to an 8 because I usually have to go down um, if I work to the prescribed size. So a 7 or an 8 and do try it out. This is the shade AL11. Now, of course, you can see it's black. It's charcoal black. I love the color of my shawl, but for a tutorial, of course, it's no good. So I'm going to be using this ball here, which is also the Aztec. We have it in several colors on our website. And this one is the color AL2. So we have blues and there's... um a duck egg colour, there's a purple one, there's loads of lovely colours, but I thought for the tutorial this would be the perfect colour. And then what else do you need? Of course I have scissors and a darning needle to sew in the end. Now with this shawl you can make it as big as you want because when you run out of yarn that's when your shawl ends basically. I used four balls and that's given me a really nice lovely big shawl. Now the length of the shawl is way past my fingertip to fingertip measurement. It is nearly two meters long or 78 inches. The width at the top of the shawl is 120 centimeters or nearly 45 inches. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to do a slip knot. Insert my hook and I'm going to chain three. One, two and three. Then I'm going to do a chain one as my turning chain. This chain one will be disregarded. It doesn't count, but we will still be doing it. Then you're going to put a double crochet in each of the three chains that you have just made. So skip your turning chain, yarn over, insert into the third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now in the beginning you might want to put a stitch marker into this V here because this is the first V of your first double crochet that you have made. Then we are going to continue and replace another double crochet in the next stitch. And another one in the last one. So basically, this is just a row that we do to get started. So we have three double crochets. So now we are going to start row two and we're going to chain one. You turn and you're going to place a double crochet into the back loop of this V of this first stitch where your chain one is coming out of. So into the back loop for a double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're going to also place a double crochet in the back loop. In fact, we are going to be placing most of our stitches in the back loop in this project. 
So this side here, the side with our end, is going to be our straight side. So remember where your end is, that is your straight side and there will be no increases done on this side. On this side, however, we are going to start doing our increases. So that means in the first row of our two row repeat, we do a chain. That is our increase. And then in the last stitch of each row, you're going to be picking up your stitch with the two strands, not the back loop, but both the strands. So let me show you just like we do normally. You go under the two Vs. Now, the reason why we do this is because it's on the edge of your shawl. And if you were to pick up just the back loop, it will stretch and it won't look so nice. So really, we do it for sturdiness. So there we go. So this is what our row two looks like. So we have increased, but with a chain in between the two last stitches of the row. So each row where we are doing this in our two row repeat, so this is row one of our two row repeat, we work our way all the way to the side where we are doing our increases. Then before we do the last stitch, which in fact we pick up the both strands of, we do a chain. Now we're going to turn. So this is the second row of our two row repeat. And this is row three. Chain one. Turn. Chain one doesn't count. This is a V that the chain one is coming out of. You're going to do a double crochet in the back loop. There we go. Now we have to deal with this chain space. And around this chain space, you're going to place two double crochets. So indeed, this is the side where we are doing our increases. Now, we are going to continue all along our row. And of course, here, we only have two stitches to deal with. But of course, each row will get longer and longer and longer. And this is where you will be picking up your back loop and doing double crochets all the way to the end. But of course, I am there. And at the end here, you're not going to pick up the back loop, but you pick up both the strands of the V to ensure sturdiness of your shawl. There we go. So, in fact, these two rows, these are your two row repeat. So let me explain to you again the two row repeat. Chain one, turn, double crochet in the first stitch and of course you start in the back loop. And you will see it does stretch out but it will be fine after a little while. And you work your way all the way to the end of the row doing your double crochets in the back loop. And look, you have your end on this side, so we did not do any increasing. But now I am at the end of the row, and this was the one before the last one, so this one here, this V, is the last one that I have to pick up. But before I do that, I'm going to do a chain, then I pick up the two strands of that last stitch and I do my double crochet. So now, in fact, we have made the hole ready for those two double crochets that we do in the next row. So chain one, turn, do your double crochet in the back loop in that first stitch, then you do your two double crochets into the chain space and then we work our way all the way to the other side by placing and tipping over your work to see the back loop by placing double crochets into the back loops of the stitches 
and then when you get to the end of the row, the last stitch, you're going to be picking up the two strands of the V for sturdiness. So as you can see, on the side of our tail here, we're staying nice and straight. On the other side, we are indeed increasing. We started with three double crochets. Then the next row, you do one, two, a chain and a third double crochet. So that means three double crochets and a chain. So you've got four stitches. And then the next row, you do one, two, three, four, five double crochets. So in a way, each row you are increasing with one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when your shawl grows, you will notice the holes on the side. I really, really love that effect. And also the ridges that this creates by going into the back loop only. I really love how that looks. Now, when you come to the end of your ball, what I did, I just tied on the next ball. Can you see that? So here's the knot. Tied it on and left long ends and I will be sewing those into the shawl later on. It's a very, very simple two row repeat. It is a really lovely and easy pattern to do. And so really you can't run out of yarn. So make this shawl however tall and at the end wide you want it. I used up my four balls of Aztec and I was quite happy with how big my shawl was. for watching and I will see you in the next video.